Well, hello, hello, and happy Sunday to each and every one of my virgins. Virgos, I am talking to each and every one of you, the I Analyze sign. Let's get right into your reading. The energy has been cleared. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you, Virgos. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's go. Let's go. Like I said, the energy has already been cleared. Let's see what these cards have to say, because you know I want to know. <laughs> All right, Virgos, again, happy Sunday to each and every one of you. Woo, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sunny days are ahead. I love it. All right, so we have the strength card, which is Leo. You may have Leo in your chart. Please go pull your full birth chart. We have the sun card, which is the most positive card in the, um, in the deck. We have the six of cups. We have the Knight of Wands, we have the Three of Cups, and we have the Queen of Swords, yes. All right, somebody is starting to feel very happy, sunny, very positive. This is what's to come, right? Just let February just ride out because February, we're in this last quarter moon of Scorpio. So those intense feelings that you may have been having about something are starting to subside a little bit. They're starting to wane, right? So I do see somebody in a posture of gratitude, really going back to this childlike faith. Remember, you all are the I analyze sign. You're a very kind, hardworking, very practical sign. You're very reliable. You are perfectionist also analytical and very 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 intelligent did i say very intelligent i'm gonna say it again <laughs> you all are very very intelligent virgos but i do see you in a posture of gratitude so this is and i mentioned this in, a, in another earth sign reading be very grateful for the people that come across your life that's really sowing seeds of positivity and high vibrations into you just letting you know everything is going to be okay you really want to just keep those energies close to you no matter how long you've known them you may have just met them you may have never met them you may just hear a video or hear you know a, you know somebody online or whatever but keep that energy very close to you I do see you having childlike faith and being focused on being grateful for the things around you and that's causing you to be very sunny somebody could be nice a sunny disposition somebody could be outside with their feet in the grass somebody could be walking through the grass whether your toes are in the grass like feeling those little prickly you know, blades of grass, or somebody could be walking through the grass or walking in the park or somewhere, but just arms raised up to the sun, really tapping into that strength, being recharged, right? Just really, really being recharged, removing all the negative energy from around them, all the negative energy in them. Because remember, last quarter moon in Scorpio was real, real dark. It started on the 23rd. And, but it's starting to wane and people are starting to focus on what they're grateful for and also being very careful about the energies you allow in your space. I see you all are really taking your power back and tapping into your divine masculine energy, putting your emotions to the side and starting to vet all spirits coming your way. Yes, I love, love, love this. So somebody could have Aquarius, Gemini or Libra in their chart. Again, go pull your full birth chart so that you can see, right? It's great for you all being the um, uh, such a, like analyzers to really look at your own birth chart to see, you know what, I'm going to take some time for healing because that's what the, the uh, next new moon in Pisces is really about is healing. It's that quiet time, time to relax after coming out for such intensity in February, especially Scorpio, I mean, like that Scorpio energy going out with a bang right and so just really taking the time to just be grateful for the energies around you that are just continuing to sow positive energy into you i do see somebody feeling like they hit the jackpot yes feeling like they hit the jackpot when i say that that it's going out with the bang is going in out with a lightning bang right so again some energies around you are going through a tower moment right now and again for you you're feeling happy, you're feeling grateful, you're feeling sunny, you're feeling free because um, you've gotten away from the hostile energy. Yeah, you've gotten away from that hostile energy, right? That you've gotten away emotionally from those thoughts. You replace those negative, low vibrating thoughts that you may have been overthinking and questioning everything. You replaced it with gratitude. I'm so glad I'm a far, as far away from emotionally, mentally, physically away from things that cause me to be angry, frustrated, and upset. Because again, that kind of stuff actually affects your health. Stress kills people. 
That's what I think a lot of people forget, that stress could kill you, right? So you have time and money in your favor. So if you feel like you lost time and lost money during this whole process, this, this transformation process, you haven't. Because it was a very passionate process for somebody. This is where you just know what you know. That some people are liars, they're manipulators, they're, last, they're gaslighters, they're whatever. Narcissists. But again, for you, you said, I've, I've severed ties with those emotions. I'm all about feeling positive. I'm all about feeling happy. I'm all about feeling free. And emotionally, I feel like I hit the jackpot. And this is what I'm saving room for. I'm creating space for more money to come across my path. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I had the strength. To tap into that so I can be in this posture of gratitude and I've never felt better. That's what you're headed towards. If it hasn't already started for some people, you are coming up out of that. Like something had to be torn down because you went through a tower moment too. Something had to be torn down in your spirit for you to say, okay, all right, that's it. That's enough. And in that vulnerable state and you realize somebody tapped into strength they didn't even realize they had and this is what's coming your way. I do see somebody receiving money, but you had to go through this process. That's another reason why I started to increase the videos, because I used to do videos three times a week. Was it three or four times a week? Three times a week, and I increased it to four times a week, because somebody really, I mean, and I got so many text messages from people saying, I'm just going through a really rough time, and this is happening, and I don't understand why that's happening, and that sort of thing. So I increased the number of videos for that reason, because the number of requests that I had, you know, people were texting me, please, can you put up another video today? And I was like, sure, I certainly can. I could literally put up a video every single day, but it would sound redundant for some people. Um, but again, for, for those of you all who have uh, sent me text messages to increase, I did. Here we have the three of wands. So somebody's expecting some great things to happen. Somebody is firmly, like I said, firmly planted and rooted and just knows something big is happening. I can feel it. So I'm glad that I had to go through that. So it was almost forcing you to listen to your intuition. You always know I say this about you all, Virgos, um, is out of the three earth signs you all are the one that you're the mutable sign so you're the one that's easiest to start to get on this path of listening to your intuition and really just kind of sort of opening up and creating space to start seeing things with your spiritual eyes not just with your natural eyes right yeah somebody's even sleeping better right now somebody's even getting more sleep I'm seeing somebody expecting new opportunities to new, meet new people. Why? Because you learn how to clear space. So there's some other people around you who have, and it's, it, I, I don't even want to spend time on who's going through the tower moment because this is such a positive reading for you all. It doesn't even really matter that they're going through their tower moment because it's something that they created. But for you, this is, again, you raising your frequency and saying, you know what, I do have time and money in my favor. I haven't lost out on anything. This has really been a beautiful journey for me. And so somebody's looking forward to their future. So this is where you really want to expect great things to come. No matter how long you've been waiting on something, expect it to come. Change your whole mindset. And this is how, this is how even this place of vulnerability that you all have been in, it's like the whole world could be falling down around you, but you're untouched and unscathed. I mean, like like nothing. It's like oh, that was like, you know, that was in your, some of those things were in your mind. So I do see somebody getting their sleep, you know, your sleep pattern becoming a lot better. Your intuition is so heightened right now. Some of you all know exactly who's going through their tower moment right now because you can actually see them going through their tower moment right now. It could be your adult kids, it could be who they're married to, it could be your cousin from a long time ago, it could be your aunt, it could be anybody, friends, people at work, that's how heightened your intuition is right now, but you like this, curled up like a ball, <laughs> like, you're, you're laid up in your bed like a baby in a fetal position, right, you're just, you're getting your rest, it's like all hell is breaking loose around you, but you are just sunny days, and you're in a blessed space, and you're like, okay, I got time, money is in my favor, all of that, you're just loving up on yourself, so here we go, if you're in a romantic relationship, you're with your soulmate, you're happy, you're free, you're just, you're just in a posture of gratitude, I mean, I don't even know what else to say about this, somebody is really taking the time to focus on mindfulness, so somebody could be participating in some kind of yoga, doing some kind of yoga or doing some kind of um, meditation but again you're near a body of water just taking time to breathe and just really enjoy life right i love this for you i love 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 this for you virgo so somebody is really starting to understand how all of this works you're ready for this new phase after coming out of 
this this huge bang of a month but remember it's something that you asked for because the beginning of the month i have to i have to walk it backwards for somebody at the beginning of this month somebody has been asking for change they've been asking for a new beginning but so how it came through you know it's for some people it was kind of bumpy it was rocky but you're ready for march to come march 2nd starts the beginning of a new cycle a new phase new moon in pisces so that's where your time for relaxation and healing but some people have already started some people have got a head start on it already yeah so this this last thing that's going out you knowing exactly who's going through their um the karma that they created right now isn't affecting you at all i mean unless you want to sit there and overthink it but i can't even see you overthinking it the devil card right so somebody could be scared for somebody else but again when you really look at your life your heart has been in the right place and you're saying you know i i don't i mean what could i do about it that's something that they created. So again, somebody could be really, really nervous because you see somebody being chained to their fear, somebody being chained to their doubt. The devil represents false evidence that appears real. Somebody chained to their fear, somebody chained to their doubt, somebody chained to their addictions. You could literally see somebody picking up a crack pipe. I mean, seriously, you could literally see somebody on drugs or drinking themselves into a stupor. You could see that in the spirit realm and just be terrified for them. But when you look at your life, you see the complete and total opposite going on around you. And so all you need to do is just let them go through the karma that they created for themselves. That's something they put out into the universe so that they can get back on their road to healing and ascension, their ascension. Yeah. Wow. The things that I'm, that I'm seeing right now, looking at your cars is that like I said, on one hand, I'm really, really happy for you all, but, um, but because I know that sometimes you all can tend to overthink, you know, certain situations, I don't want you all to overthink this. Like, really don't overthink this, because I know that some of you all see somebody in the spirit going through a really rough time right now, somebody that, you know, that you um, are very passionate about, somebody that you could love deeply, but again... Um, and I say passionate, not as, in terms of sex. I'm saying like you could be, it could be a, a, you know, some family member that you're very passionate about. And you could see them going through their tower moment right now, but they're chained to their fears. That's what it is. They're chained to their fears. So it could be some addiction of some sort. They could be chained to some idea that, you know, um, they got to hold out and get back at somebody who hurt them. I mean, like they, they, they literally are chained to it and you could just, you Virgo, you all, I can see you all wanting the best for them. And it could be like really tearing somebody up on the inside, but this is what I suggest. You roll over and get some nice, sweet sleep and mind your business, roll over and get some nice, sweet sleep because they have to go through this. As much as you may love this person, they have to go through this. You're going to have to let them go through this. So send them good vibrations your way. Get some sleep and go outside and take a nice long walk under the sun. Get that stale energy off of you. But it's time to show the world the real you. You may have Aquarius in your chart somewhere, but it's time to show the world the real you. Aquarius is a fixed sign. That fixed sign in you is just, you know, that it is attached to, remember I said the, the, um, the new moon for February started off in Aquarius. So somebody is fixated on being happy and feel with, you know, and so you can't allow their, their karma that they create. I gotta, I gotta say this again, because they created their own karma. You can't allow the karma that they created for themselves. I don't even care if you marry to the person for real. Keep your sunny disposition, your healing energy, because it's actually helping them. You got to keep your vibrations high. What, what is it going to help if you go down to the depths with them? You're not God. You're not their God. So you trying to go down to the depths of, in the pits of hell with them is only going to drag you down. You're going to have to let them go through this. Again, you got time and money in your favor. You can send them prayers. You can send out good energy their way. But you keeping a, a, a um, high vibrational, you know, uh, being on a high frequency is actually helping them in the long run. Soak in a bath because you need to replenish those, you know, those that energy that you put out in the universe, the, the emotions you put out in the universe. Four plus six is ten. Go look up the number ten on my knowledge channel to see what it means. But this is what I have for you, Virgos. Keep on keeping.
keeping your vibrations high because again, emotionally, you're closer, you're one step. That's how, this is how complex, <laughs> this is the, the complexities of life. I mean, really, when you really look at this right here, I mean, just knowing that people who, um, who have been, mm, just knowing that people are going through their karma that they created, like I said, and they're chained to their fear, they're chained to their doubt. Don't try. Let me just. I'm not gonna say don't because I know how. I know how you all think. Try not to let it affect you. Roll over and get you some good sleep. Take a nice walk out in the sun. Get near a body of water. Take a take a bath, a spiritual bath or something. Just release that energy off of you because they're they're going through it just like everybody else towards the end of uh, Scorpio. I mean the end of the month, the end of February. Here we have life represents a cosmic capacity to manipulate both time and energy. Yes, and then we have, I can stop time when I take in more energy than I give off. Yes, yes, indeedy. That is what I have for you, Virgos. Continue having a great day. But then again, I know you will because that is the intention you set. All right, bye.